Hey folks, it is June 1st, 2021. I'm back here at Boardwalk Hall. Been a long time. The last time I was here was November of 2019 when I shot that uh, video about the 64 that everybody likes so much. Well, things are still pretty quiet here, but they've allowed me in to uh, come up and take some more videos, which I, I hope you'll enjoy. During the time that the uh, pandemic has been in place, so many of you left comments and, and questions. It was really rewarding. And so uh, in order to satisfy more curiosity, and uh, just have some fun with it. We're gonna shoot some more videos up here. So today, uh, I'm gonna show you the, ah, lights came on. Well, that's nice, better for the video. Um, the echo blower and uh, the swell low pressure because one of you out there asked about the swell low pressure blower, which I forgot to show on that uh, swell and great blower rooms video. So uh, 10 points for somebody for noticing that. So uh, let's go downstairs and take a look at the uh, echo blower. The corridors in back here. Whoops. That's what I meant to do, widen out the shot. <clears throat> All the lights back here in these uh, concession stand areas are still still off. But if we go down here, the stairwell. See all these footprints on the floor? You see that? More on that in a minute. <clears throat> now one of the biggest things that's uh, changed since I was here last time in 2019 didn't take place in the building, but outside the building. Look out there, I know the window is super dirty, but the Trump Plaza Hotel is gone, so now inside the convention center, inside the hall here, you can look out and you can actually see daylight. That's so nice, because it, uh, it really makes uh, everything so much brighter on this side of the building. See these sandbags? Those lead outside where they're doing the demolition. And you can see <clears throat> on the floor here, it's, it's dusty. There, there was some dust that got in here, but that's all. Down another level, the blower is way down here. Now we're down on the level of the parking garage there. And if you turn right, here is the echo blower. It can't be turned on because the, um, uh, <clears throat> the wind lines are cut up above in the ceiling, of course, as you, as you saw in the uh, echo organ video that I did a couple years ago. But I will say it's pretty impressive. I, I dusted off this nameplate and uh, you get on there. I don't know if you can read that or not. Right there, 75 horsepower for one division. And here is the old Westinghouse uh, cutoff box for the blower. And of course the, the newer one is there. Okay. So there's, there's not much to see, but I'm, I figure people would be interested in seeing one of these. I'm not going to go over to the fanfare blower because it looks exactly the same. It's on the other side of the parking garage, down the opposite stairwell, etc. And uh, it's not much different. So uh, let's go take a look at the uh, swell side. Okay, now I'm up here at the head of stairwell 6. And if you remember from the swell and great uh, blowers video, came through there, the stage is right through that door. And so we're going to go down here and see swell low pressure. And you see this, uh, see this grate right here? See that uh, access? We're gonna come back to that in a minute. So you turn right underneath the very low exit sign Turn around. There, through that door is where the high pressure swell is. Then you come around here. I've got the low pressure on, so it's pretty noisy. There's the parking garage through there. And here is the swell low pressure.
even the low pressure is pretty noisy. Now let, let's go back here to this stairwell. Okay, now remember how I showed you this. I'm going to lift up this grate, which is very heavy. I'm not going to climb down there, but that is where the swell low pressure blower used to be. It used to be in this room under here. I'm going to try to lower the camera down without dropping it and shine a light in here. Yes, this is where they originally had the swell low pressure blower in this room. Now, I don't know about you, but those don't look like very good conditions for something made out of wood and metal.